there's nothing you can do to teach them how to surf. They have to like what they're doing. And if they don't like what they're doing, they're not gonna do it. So it's mostly for him. Whenever I go to the beach, I say, this is for you, buddy. This is for you, because I know this is what you love. Hey everybody, this is Rusty. And I'm his mama, Sophia. And we are always together. Rusty is a red miniature picture and he just turned six. So in my eyes, he's still a baby, but he is very bossy. He is very determined. He doesn't really show any fear when it comes to surfing, skateboarding. He just does it and he loves life. So Rusty and I started going to the beach and just kind of hanging around. One day I decided to take this little surfboard that we had and we went to this place where the river meets the ocean. So I, you know, went in the water and I put Rusty on the surfboard and I was just kind of pushing him back and forth, back and forth. And he was having fun and I was getting some photos. I noticed that he kept jumping back on the board when I put it on the sand. And then I started pushing it and letting him go and he was doing fine and he was having a great time and it was making me happy. So we went over, we walked over to where the waves are, which is all connected. And I pushed him on a couple of waves and he did great. I didn't have to train him at all. I just put him on the surfboard and he did the rest. I already knew about a contest that was going on in, in San Diego. So I entered him in that and he took third place at four months old. He's been surfing for six years and he's taken many, many titles, many trophies. I can't even tell you how many trophies he has and how many medals he has. He sees my beach clothes, he starts going insane. He runs around in circles, he barks like crazy. He's just super excited. And then the closer we get to the beach, he can smell it. So he starts looking out the window. It's just, he gets so much joy out of it. It makes me happy to see him that happy. Brian was seven when I adopted him. I love that dog. I think about him every day. By the time he passed on, he was probably close to 15, 17 years old. So unfortunately, at the same time that Brian started showing some symptoms, my mom had asked me to come down and take her to the hospital. And then my mom got worse. Right before I had started living at the hospital, we had gone to the shelter to pick up, hopefully, an, a dog that was gonna help me heal from Brian. Rusty was about three months old, and he was bright red, prancing on the bright green grass, and it's just, that's embedded in my mind of how, at the same time, I was so sad, I could still be happy to see this beautiful puppy. And I shared the story with my mom she said to me, I am so happy for you. You know, you have a new puppy that you can take care of and I know you're gonna be okay. And I know what she, <sighs> I know what she meant with that. She was gonna let go. So she passed on that night and <laughs> Rusty is my last connection to my mother. So this is why he's so special. And that's why I say he brings a lot of good energy um, because he made me go outside and, you know, start doing fun things. Because for me, going to the beach is my happy place. He has been a blessing for me and for my whole family. He has definitely changed my life. Physically and mentally, I'm a healthier person than I would have been without Rusty. I met a lot of people that were into the same type of, you know, thing. They were into surfing, they were into surfing with their dogs. So I decided since I didn't really know how to surf, I was going to learn how to surf because Rusty inspired me. So I started um, surfing and for safety and security, he made me feel safe. I would put him on the, on the board with me and we would, you know, take on some waves and he would go to the nose and he would look down and he'd look back at me and you know we were just having a good time. I also learned how to snowboard. <laughs> Took him and he went sledding and I'm like well what don't I why don't I learn how to do it myself as well? So I learned how to snowboard because of Rusty. I learned how to skateboard. We have a longboard and we go um, skateboarding down the neighborhood. That's always fun because people can't believe it. 
Um, and he will ride the nose on the skateboard as well. You know what? I feel like I'm living a second life. Like I had my life where I had a very uh, stressful job before and I didn't have time to do anything fun. But now I have something I can do all the time in my community. Even if I don't meet up with anybody, I could just go to the beach with him and surf and come home and, and be go back to work the next day and go, you know, I had a good day. And I, it puts a smile on my face and it puts a warm feeling in my heart.